Sucks to be you. Right, well. Embarrassing. I'm gonna grind up a bit. Actually, you know what occurs to me? You know what fucking occurs to me? I've got a thing that occurs to me. Real quick, bear with me, because I had that fight in a bag. I refuse. What's that, balloon? You want to fucking look at my strategy and be like, nah, I'm going to get fucking tricky on you. I'm going to somehow find the one pattern that you can't heal out of. That strategy should have. I have no idea why that strategy didn't work. That was going well. I've got a new strategy for you. It's called level 81. Let's see how well that strategy works for you there, champ. Skip all this nonsense. Don't need to read this crap. I already read this crap. Hurry up, you're walking there, champ. Yeah, I know. Doesn't open. Oh man, is it because it's a door? Let's just break it down. Oh, we can't do that. It's a door. And then James shows up. He keeps on rolling, rolling, rolling. Then he nonsense butler chops this nonsense. Hurry on up, James. We don't have all day. I have a fight to basically steamroll my way through. Not scientific. Oh man, what a shock. Are you eager to see this cutscene again? I know I'm not. I'm checking my email while I do this. Maybe someone said something. Relevant to my interests. Anyone subscribe to me? I like calling those people out. Uh, no one subscribed to me present, or while I was recording this. Can't say the last person to subscribe to me. Uh... Adam Mini has subscribed to me. Uh, thank you, Adam Mini. A D A Mini. That's a subscription I now have. I do have some emails. That you can show me that. Cool. Actually, I should check that website. Don't want to botch graduating from university right before I do it. This is probably the last uh, game. This won't be finished by the time I'm done with university. This is probably one of the last things I'll record at uh, Radford, however. That's bittersweet. Oh god, there's nine I have to deal with. Can I do a math quiz in the middle of this cutscene? That'd be rad. Watch this video and answer the questions. We'll have three attempts. How about we uh, give it the old once-over beforehand? Uh, the video is talking about. Good lord. Uh, I don't know what most of these are, to be fair, but uh, the bootstrap paradox. None of these really seem math-related, but whatever. Um, I'll do that later. It gives me six hours to do the quiz. Oh, no. However will I find the time? Surely it won't be at the end of this video, when I'll have plenty of time. Pow! Shut up, Empress. Oh, wow. I can really just jump right into that. I need voice recorder. Shot right past it. Come on. Name calling, etc., etc. Ephros is surprised. I'm annoyed that my victory at a lower level was ripped from me, even though I'll probably end up doing that for a boss run anyways. Or, uh, a speed run, rather. There's no boss run in this game. 
You have to fight all of the bosses. There's no optional ones. I suppose there's plenty of optional fights, but no optional boss fights. Optional fights are just fights you don't pick with the ghosts who show up out of nowhere. Wah! My pride! I have to dye my hair orange if I cosplay as human Stan, though. Should be kind of weird. Gosh, however am I going to do this? Uh, the same way I was doing it? Probably won't bother casting, uh, decoy on myself, but, you know. I am going to go with the Omni Concerts and the Super Shields and all that. Let's get the Super Shield going. You can start with, in case he starts with, um, that nonsense, uh, I'm gonna cast it on Linda first, or er, on myself first. Where's Overdrive? Oh, there it is. You may notice I have more spells, and significantly more health. Cast it on myself so I can then cast it on Linda, who can cast on the concert. There's also a spell Linda knows at this point that's very worth knowing. Uh, in addition to Life Spark, which revives and fully restores, um, there's a hot new spell in our team. Yep, he starts with Channel. What a douche. Um, suppose you can use a Big Nut on Ari. So Linda can use Revitalize, which fully restores HP to all allies. Do you see how that's a very good spell to have? Anyways, Omni Concert on, uh, Fuckhead there. Uh, one last Overdrive. Rosalind. We're going to wait for Ari to regain all of his stuff. Linda is just going to use uh, Revitalize. Why not? And the Ari can combine and attack the loot. Oh man, we're looking pretty, pretty tragic for health here. Oh wait. The broken spell. Go ahead and use a wild strawberry, Linda. You've earned it. Why cast overdrive on her? Well, for starters, it gives her a free turn. But second, possibly more importantly, is if I wind up with a free turn on my hands, I can um, have all three of them attack. Oops, I actually had her combine and attack with, um, Rosalind there. Ah, well. Use Revitalize. Uh, Ari. Yes. Combine. Tee hee. Oh, is Bayloon sad? I think Bayloon's sad. I also think he's going to attack Linda. Yeah, 
I have a wild strawberry. Preferred a big nut, but I guess I used them all, didn't I? Well, either way. Whatever will I do? Oh, good job, Stan. Get in the fight, show him what for. 661. Five more, Stan. Hell, that one attack from Stan could have killed the Sewer Evil King in one hit. Good old channel. You never let me down for being a waste of everybody's time. Especially once I've halved your magic power. Halves everyone's magic power, to be fair, but... We're not using magic, are we? Hmm, she also has... Matches all enemy speeds. Increases damage done, which affects everyone. Releases effects of spells. Decreases physical damage by 50%. Which... Could weaken him even further, but it weakens us is the problem. Don't know how I feel about that. Sure, I've found lots of plenty. Use them, why don't I? Also doing 800 a pop instead of like 400 or 500 a pop. Not have much left. I'm just saying that right now. Oh, Linda. You saucy game. Actually, I'm gonna have Ari use a wild strawberry. Just so Linda doesn't have to. And then she can use her own wild strawberry. Because life's cruel like that, Balloon. You don't get to win. Not when you go ahead and ruin my perfectly good strategies. I'm gonna hit you with another Omni Concert, because I can. And he's dead. Dropped a big old sack of money. Because he's a big old sack of crap. Actually, he didn't drop any money. And only gives, like, 30 experience. You want to kill me? Kill me. The world is no longer. Hmph. I wanted to see you like this. Hey, we beat the game. Because Balloon's an ass. But I won't kill you, it's much to work. Now I'm satisfied, you're free to go. 
I'm erasing the classification of this world. Isn't that where you desire? I'm leaving this vast open world in search of Marlene. Marlene will no longer be able to find her way home by herself. To find me in the unmeasured spread out world. By the way, that's... Beating him is a ch achievement trophy, and uh, that should be all the trophies. No matter how long it takes, not a doll, but a true. So he's just gonna go on a quest to find his daughter. Yeah, you know, I think he probably should have done from the beginning rather than make a doll to replace her. Just saying. And so the world library collapsed. It took a really dilapidated bridge down with it. How dare he. Good thing we got the hell out of there, especially since that thing's a maze. We really had to book it out of there. No, it's this way! Oh damn, it's that way! Ah! All those librarians that were in there, they're dead. And so, the final scene. Woof, so the world has changed them out. Doesn't seem to be changed much at all. Well, it's not the matter of the world, but the configuration of the residence. Cognition. From now on, we do not have to function within the set frame. Our meaning is as we wish. We have free will. Whatever, I'm an evil king. It's not my concern whether classifications are erased or not. I have pride in being an evil king. Thus, I'm off to seek true evil. Master Stan, you're a stupendous. I will follow you anywhere you go. Ah, James, by the way, when you didn't appear, where were you and what were you doing? Well, I obediently watched over you in the background, not daring to interfere with the master. Mm, fine. Well then, Ari, I had a good time. This is it, Ari, I had a good time. A tearful goodbye. You will hear my name again as ruler of this wide world. If you visit me then, maybe we can have some fun again. So long! Ha ha ha. I'd like to think he would take pity on Ari if he took over the world make him like a squire or something. How cold-hearted. I was denied our final fight. Wait for it. Oh no! <laughs> Stupid Stan, what about my shadow? He just ran away like that. Besides, I'm a hero. I shouldn't leave an evil king who seeks evil alone. That is right. Or that's right, rather. Now I have to catch Stan and make him give my old life back. I gotta go. See you, Ari. And she's off. World doth thy secret lie in magical power, rest near not I, nigh, off I go to Gear Tower. Oh my god, wait for me, at Rosie promised Linda, cuddly and bubbly. No way, I did not! She's the only one who can make him not rhyme. It's okay, let's go, Epros. Later, Ari Gator. Hmm, I guess I'm going back to being a famous scholar and researcher. Oh, what a tragic life. I'm going to observe all the strange and interesting phenomena of this world. With a great multidimensional neurodynamic intellectual engine residing in my cranium. I have a vision. It's called the Oxhole. I don't want to hear about your Oxhole. I'm set up a training center for macho men everywhere. I have a mighty macho army ready for next time, bro. See ya. It was always weird to me that Bull was the last one to say goodbye to him, you know? And so... The game and, well, not quite. We have to go home, don't we? My goodness. Look at all that moonbeam grass. It does sound groovy. Well, not my business. More poetic than anything else. Meanwhile, in Triste, the world remembers. Well, it remembers all but one. A certain girl who, interestingly enough, is a clone, or at least very similar to the girl on the Wap island of Wap Wap, which is a uh, fast travel island.
that house is quiet. But wait, who's that? And then she thinks better of it and decides to head off to the desert. Never to be seen again. Who was KT? What was her purpose? She's asking about Stan to the Bubble Evil King. He unfortunately hasn't seen him, it seems. And then a hero from another game shows up to challenge her to a fight and is immediately run over by Bull. Thanks, Bull! Take that, Final Fantasy hero. Rosalind sees an interesting sight, but decides no, it couldn't be. I'm being texted by my sister. That never happens. There's the gang. Old Blabberdill. And there's Kiesling in the back, talking about love to the Chairman Evil King. Oh, those kids. Poor old Blabberdill. Sister one. They're going. Oh, I can't remember. I'll figure that out. Ah, the circus where Ebros is lifting up a rat and spinning him around, basically doing levitation tricks, bouncing him up and down, twirling all about. What a what a great magician. Then Linda comes out to sing, and uh, well then. Everyone kind of hates it, so she decides she's going to get angry and kill them all. Epros whisks her away. I ship them. They seem to be together. Poor Stan, though. He doesn't get anyone. I guess he gets James. This probably will be two episodes, just so I don't have, you know, a 70-minute video going up. Hey, it's you, Ari! Came back at the right time. It's the annual festival today. It's crazy in the village. Everyone's really busy. Why don't you go and help them? The more you help, them, the more help they've got, the better. Your dad is organizing things in front of town hall. Hurry, go. Right now, do it. No going home for you? Why would you think that? Also, the only time you'll hear this music and not in the official soundtrack. Hi, Ari, is it you? Long time no see. Hmm. Really looking tougher now. Not my type, though. Yeah, of course not, you friggin' bitch. Ari, right, I've made up my mind. You're not my ideal man anymore. Good. But my prince must be out there somewhere. Yeah, under a doormat. So I'm going to wait for my docile, obedient dream prince is out there. I know it. Uh-huh, sure. What a jerk. Oh, Ari, where have you been all this time? Something big has happened. Do you want to know what happened? A totally new world was discovered beyond the outer edge of the world. What's that? Sequel bait? What's so scary about it? You never know what scary things out there. Brr, scary. Listen to this, sorry. My auntie saw it again near your house, sorry. A weird black shadowy thing. Is that the rumored ghost? That would be crazy. But it's true. She told me she saw it this morning near your house. Oh, Ari, it's you, Ari. There goes an important-looking person. Return this time doesn't seem like a simple visit. What did you learn, son? I want to listen to your stories, but right now my hands are full getting ready for the festival. There goes an important-looking woman. Put aside the stories now give me a hand. Mm -hmm. You must be tired from the long trip, so you can let the others carry all the stuff. Ari, right, why don't you go home and pick up lunch? Mother has lunches waited ready for us. I appreciate it. See you later. Oh, Dad. He doesn't even get a day off. And there's Annie with her pink shadow. Her shadow of pinkness. I don't mind that this track isn't in the official soundtrack. It's not very good, if you ask me. I was having a hard time listening to Dad's crazy theories while you were gone. That reminds me. I met a girl there a while ago. She asked me if this is Ari's house. Ari's house is this way, so I showed her the way to our house. 
She was totally cute, you lady killer, breaking hearts left and right. Well, I gotta go. The festival only comes once a year. You can't miss an opportunity to test my feminine wiles. Oh, you already left. Oh boy, oh boy, great timing, Ari. You have a guest. Come, don't stand there. Come inside. Oh no, I have to deliver lunch to almost everybody in the village. Oh, you may. Let me give you a hand. Oh, really? Are you sure? Can you cook? Uh, can you teach me? Aw, oh, how appropriate. It's come full circle. So yeah, the game clearly ships Ari and Marlene. I like Ari and Rosalind more, just because I like Rosalind more. Although Marlene is a close second. I don't mind that ship. And they hold hands as they go inside. What an ending. And credits. Ah, uh, everyone who worked on this game deserves a round of applause except the U.S. marketing team. You guys suck. Ah, uh, the producer was a guy named Seth. Lucy. Uh, Connie Booth. I know a Connie Booth. I say that every time I see her name. Textinating localization. Bravo to these guys. Sean Torin Redding. Rettig. And she tiles... Sararo. Text translated by Mendez Inc. Director of Marketing. Fuck you! Well, Japanese marketing is probably fine. Marketing specialist, Shelly Ashitomi. Jim Williams! Was legal. Intellectual property. Christy Costello, Michael Manhan Manhan, and Riley Russell. A lot of these are Eng American names or English names. John Crompton was market research. He didn't research hard enough! PR. Director of Quality Assurance, Michael Backledge, did a good job. Senior QA, Richard Marquez. Attaboy, Richard. Although that's a weird way to spell Richard. Sam Bradley was core quality assurance. He's ability manager. God, so many people I need to write personal thank you letters to, because this game is still fantastic. Eric Polito. Marta. Koshra. Kevin Sider. There's not a lot of Japanese names tied to this, are there? Dan, Tony, Shatile, maybe. Anthony, Robert, Sean, Jonathan. Garen, Mark, that might be a Japanese name, looking at the last name. Rodney, same with that one. Tamara. Fokotuma, which is the Japanese name. Doesn't even get credits, poor guys. Battle planning. Okay. Screenplay. Gorinu, Masahiko Yokomizo, and Akira Nemoto. Scenario cooperation. Yeah, make that scenario cooperate. So yeah, I will be doing a speedrun of this game next year. I don't know when next year. I'm sort of, you know, setting my life up. I'm hopefully moving in with the... Uh, my lady friend. Hopefully have a responsible job and career. Need to keep lying to my parents that uh, A, I will have kids and possibly go back to graduate school because I don't want to do either of those. Graduate school might change, I suppose. That's entirely possible. Uh, depends on moods, I suppose. It's like whether or not I want to do graduate school. Um, I'm not changing my mind about kids, probably. I really, really, really don't want children. They're very, very annoying, and I don't want to deal with them. Except for my niece, who's the greatest child ever created. 
she's the only one who gets to uh, get a free pass on that one. Because she is adorable. But part of the reason she's adorable is because I know she isn't mine. And I'm not the one who has to raise her. I worry about things like, ooh, I hope she gets into a good school. Uh, my dad is going to bother me about that. He likes the idea of his bloodline continuing. Who knows, maybe when I'm older. Late 30s, maybe. Huh, who knows? Might change my attitude. Maybe early 30s. Who knows, who knows? Currently, it's like, oh god, no. Which is great, because the lady friend I'm with is like, also, oh god, no. If I do have a kid, it's going to be a kid. I'm certainly not having more than one. That is... I've seen my mother and father who had three kids. That is not something... Special thanks. Ha! Ah, what I'd give to have my name here. But no, it's just you. Group of people. Game director. Good on you, Tadato Kawano. And Noriyuki Henmi. And you, Tetsuji Yamamoto. And Akira Sato. And Fumia Takeno. And Masatsuka Saiki. I'm bad with Japanese names. They're probably bad with American names, so, you know. Fair enough. Copyright 2001. Oh man. That's coming up on 20 years ago. And in 20 years, nobody's written a better story. Ever. And Germany continues to remain ignorant. Yes, Fowl represents all of Germany. I haven't ragged on him in the, these last couple episodes. Ah, oh, more sequel bait that never came to be. Abusing my slave brings amusement. Few other activities can match. Ah, what kind of calamity shall I heap upon him next? Thinking about how to torment my servant is almost as much fun as doing it. Ha ha ha! Ah. The end. And it was. I've always kind of wanted to see a manga or anime adaptation of this game. I think another game at this point would probably be gratuitous. Because it was such a good story, but I don't trust myself to write a sequel to this. I'm too in love with the game. I would be blinded by bias and nostalgia. I don't trust anyone who likes this game, who's like a fan of this game, to continue the story. I would trust a competent story writer who maybe has never heard of it and learns the story as they go. However, I would like to see an adaptation of this game in, like I said, anime or manga form. I think that would be adorable and fantastic. Anyways... Here's the intro again, I guess. That's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching and for putting up with my shenanigans. Uh, shame about that final boss fight, though. Good thing we came back in the end and uh, mopped the floor with his sorry bum with our level 80 characters. But uh, saved myself some time and energy. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Token Lad. Talk to you later, Shooting O'Shaders. See you around, ass clowns.